Hey, everybody, I'm live. Some people twisted my arm into streaming me building droids. sure what's going on tonight but we're just gonna build some droids no painting um, let me get this shared out to a couple places some music. It's really quiet. There we go. Much better. Alright, here we are. This is what I worked on yesterday. So this is Grievous. Went with two sabers and a gun for mine. I've kept the cloak and his head off for now. A model of super glue than I usually use. It's got a little bit finer of a tip on there, so going to use that. Anyways, if you're in here with me, let me know. I'd be glad to talk with you. And let's get to gluing and snipping. So. Let's get over into the middle of my stream. Bear with me, I'm a... Uh, I caught a light case of the con crud from Gen Con. Nothing super fancy. Excuse me, nothing super heavy. Just some sniffles for the last couple days or so. I've had worse con crud, so I can't complain about this one a whole lot. So, one tool I would recommend getting yourself before you um, buy these droids is a sprue cutter. You are going to need it. Some of these bits are pretty delicate, and without sprue cutters, I almost guarantee you'll break them. Make sure you do that. So what I do is I clip off, what I've found works for me is to clip off all the parts of one droid and then glue them together. Grievous that I was showing, the way I built him is not in the book, and took a little finagling to get it to fit. I wanted to do four sabers, and it's probably possible. Um, I, I wanted to do that at first, but then I decided just to go for the, the um, two sabers and a gun, because I don't think a lot of people are going to build them that way. But we'll see. I forgot why I hate metal super glue bottles. So I'll probably switch right off of that real quick. When I went to my local store, they were out of the big bottles. And like I said, I've already glued a piece to my finger. And they don't retract the glue back in, and they drip everywhere, so. We'll go back to using this. That way I don't just waste it. 
we go. Process, but it's out now. Super glue fingers. All right. Get this stuff a good shake, 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 shake. I apologize for any choppiness in my connection. I am not quite sure what's going on. We're not going to paint anything tonight. We're just going to glue these guys together. How's that sound? Things aren't too bad on these guys. are always the last thing for me to put on on these guys. It does take some time to build these, so if you're sitting down to build them, find a video that you like to watch. Maybe one of my painting videos. And just start streaming. Start snipping and start gluing. Alright, so the arms are probably the hardest bit. And I, to be quite honest, haven't found a good way to do them yet. Because they're ball joints. So they like to slip slide around, so. What I have found works somewhat best for me is to put one arm on, hold it, you gotta work quick, second arm, and then try to fit them together somewhat, and you know, inevitably that never works and everything falls apart. Just like that. So, try number two. Sometimes. So the other thing I've tried is putting a little bit of glue here and gluing this onto the gun arm first. The issue I've run into that is that it doesn't always end up shoulder width apart, and it's really easy to break the guns by pushing too hard. So be careful with that if you're gonna go this route. The guns are super brittle, like crazy brittle. careful if you're going to go that route. Glue them again together first. Like, see, when I put this one on, its arm's going to be, shoulders are going to be way too far apart. So... So, that tapping is me tapping my super glue to get some down in the tip. I didn't get enough glue on either side. Ah, these droids are the bane of my miniature assembly. I forgot how spoiled I was by the press fit miniatures. There's no real secret to this. If somebody knows a secret, I would much appreciate you sharing that with me, because good night. These guys drive me nuts. 
Oh god, his arm fell off. Welcome to the Jagged Rush Studios comedy show, as we try to assemble really small plastic droids. Hope y'all are laughing, because it can be frustrating. Alright, we got that. Let's see, 12 minutes into a stream and we've got one completed. Hooray. I need some water real quick. thing is we're not even halfway done like I've done five the good thing is is the mold lines aren't bad on these I've not even had to do any real cleanup with them um, with the pair of sprue cutters they come off pretty clean off the sprue Grievous took a little bit of work on a couple areas, but nothing, nothing major. I just ran a small, like, fingernail file over it. So, like I said, I clip off all the pieces. Pieces. Jet can go in the trash. A little bit of glue. I'll probably glue my fingers together here. I do every time. Hold it for a couple seconds. And it comes apart right when you let go. Again, free ticket to the comedy show. Come laugh at me as I try to assemble really small, tiny plastic bits. Give it another 30 minutes or so and I'll probably be cursing. sticking more to my fingers than itself, I think. Yep. Doo -doo -doo. Just gonna hold it for a little bit longer than normal. Because for some reason, it's not wanting to stick at all. I might have that much trouble getting one together. Stay. in the stream let me know I'd appreciate it love to chat with y'all keep me from second leg let's go ahead and get the head put on one tip if you've never assembled miniatures like this before um, when it comes to utilizing super glue, less is more. So put the minimal amount of super glue on to get the job done. If you put too much, it's going to take forever to dry. You're going to get frustrated. And it's going to goop out everywhere. More super glue does not mean more stronger. Alright. Frustrating part. How to get the arms on. Yeah, for, for, feel free to laugh at me on here, but in the comments, if you have a better way of doing these droid arms, please let me know. I would be forever in your debt, because I have glued my fingers together on more than one occasion trying to do this. Preferably without throwing it. Like, if you have a solution, 
to assemblies, assembling these things, so it does not include throwing it against a wall, please feel free to share that on my stream. to do. I didn't used to charge assembly fees when I painted stuff, but I am seriously considering it now, especially if it's droids. With the amount of time I've spent putting together just these few droids, I'm probably going to have to seriously consider it. Um, because good night. This is the gel super glue. <laughs> it's still, good lord, it still does not like to cooperate much. that the arms are fiddly bits and um, they're ball joints so they don't snap together so you have to try to get the ball joints lined up correctly meanwhile if you don't get them lined up correctly then you can't actually fit the gun on there or the oh yeah I've tried the Loctite gel I don't care for it Gorilla Glue stronger in my mind but I've had better success with it Through. Like I showed earlier, I assembled my Grievous last night, and along with four droids, so this 20 minute stream I have put together two. Two droids. So plan yourself some time, unless you are a better miniature assembler than I am. It's not so much that the glue's not staying in the right place when I apply it. Like I said, it's the fiddling of... Everything goes together well for me except the arms. super glue on that bit. If you drop the back of this head onto your carpet, you're never going to find it, so be very careful. This thing is tiny. when you're putting the droids together, you can put them together backwards. I found that out on the very first one I assembled, and I was like, this doesn't look right. 
so it learns from my mistakes. Let's clean it up a ball joint a little bit. Luckily, the legs only fit on one direction. Yeah, I'm gonna have to probably go up. I've already quoted one guy a price, but I quoted him the same price I used to charge for the the base core, and I'm gonna have to increase my price on these ones for the droids, for sure. Now, painting wise, painting droids is gonna be easy. Even painting Grievous shouldn't be too difficult. said be super careful with these droid rifles there they are tiny and they're easy to break I'll let that dry for just a minute before I try to put on and move some of these spurs out of the way so you can see the maybe you can see the assembly guide um, a little bit No, I don't use contrast paints. I only use Army Painter products on my channel. Hence the little logo there. I'm actually sponsored by Army Painter. Full, for full transparency. So get yourself a nice sharp pair of sprue cutters if you don't have them already. You're going to need it. For those catching the stream later. If you haven't bought your Clone Wars set, now's the time to get them. Army Painter does carry sprue cutters if you want to buy them from them or you can get them from whatever your local hobby store is, or you can get them online. Um, I'll try to remember to put a link to the Army Painter ones in my description. All right. <clears throat> Let's get this head glued together. You know, I had people ask me specifically to stream how to assemble droids, and guess who's not here? The people that asked me to stream how to build droids. But 
what I'm likely going to do to paint them is um, I'm not painting them in the, the standard tan. Um, I'm going to do them in their Junosis theme, so the, the reddish. How to build droids. Um, I'm going to do them in the reddish Geonosis theme rather than the tan. So I'll probably fire up the old airbrush, base everything one color. Yes, Dan, we are assembling droids on the stream. Or alternatively known as gluing my fingers together. I probably should have titled it how to how to glue your fingers together and build droids in the process. of them. Gluing his gun together. It's the hardest part. It really is. The rest of the droid goes together just fine. The stupid arm, arms and gun are a pain in the metal backside. Three easy steps. Yeah. Snip, glue, two, I guess. I don't know if you can see. I've got super glue all over my fingers already. So now you speak. There's no drying when it comes to super glue plus skin. It just dries. Like, it's instant. I know that's you. I figured that out. Glued his shoulders too far apart. Again, if any of you come up with a better way, had to switch to desktop desktop mode. How? For what? Can you not stream on the mobile? Or I know you can't, like, I can't live stream from my phone, but can you not watch my stream on a cell phone? Excuse me while I get a drink of water. This message is held for review. Oh, to comment? Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. What is this stuff? Are these for the Daka Dakas? Over here? Yeah, I think those go with the 
the Rolly Boys. That's weird. Yeah, you may. I don't know. I've, I mean, I don't watch my own streams, so. Um, I'm not sure how all that works. can't put the app on your work phone. Gotcha. Dan, glad you liked those rebels that I finished up with yours the other day, the fleet troopers. If, um, if Twitch didn't have the requirement that you don't stream anywhere else, I'd consider being a Twitch streamer. But um, since I make tutorial videos, and they're intended to be tutorials, I, I gotta stay here. Don't mind Dan, he's just weird. guy together. What are you embarrassed about? <laughs> Do they not enforce it? Sounds very gospelish. Next song. I think there's programs you can do it for free. Pretty sure. I've looked into it. And I know I've seen people that do both. I don't intend to do Facebook again. Facebook likes to um, mute my station or my videos for copyright infringement, even though I'm using um, DRM free or um, rights free music. So. Is there not free ones that don't give you full functionality? Functionality? I thought there were.
asteroids. There is a reason I don't enjoy building 40k stuff, and it's this right here. Gotcha. I want it to save on YouTube, that's the problem. I'm sure there's a way. I just haven't spent much time exploring it. I'm pretty happy with YouTube right now, too. So. Yeah, Streamlabs. See if I glued my fingers together in just a couple seconds when I let this go. Yay, I did not. Great success. Anyway, so yeah, what I was saying about painting these a while back is what I'm probably going to do is mix up the color I want in my airbrush which is going to be the reddish scheme for these, from Geonosis. Alright, see you in a bit, Dan. Um, anyway, so the reddish scheme from Geonosis. And, um... I'm probably going to mix up the color in my airbrush and just airbrush these all that base color. Give them a nice wash. You're doing the whole thing NMMM. NMMMMMMM, whatever it is. You enjoy that. That is way more effort than I want to put into a Star Wars Legion droid army. More power to you. It's not like you'll ever actually paint it either, right? Do you actually play Legion anymore, or do you just hang around people that actually play it? Hang around with the cool kids. play 10 games of Legion a week. Right. telling people that there's less time in the round than there actually is.
still assembling droids for those out there that aren't participating in the chat. <laughs> Are you out, Jeremiah? Catch you later, man. Sorry about that. I had to step away for a second. I think that's how that goes. Yeah, I think so. together. Let's see. This one is going to be a unique challenge. I'm not sure how it goes. Get it out. Bazooka droid. Good lord, man.
these droids. These droids. Good night. so it's somewhat straight. All right. Only three more spruce of them. Towards built tonight, and then we'll probably call that night on. Excuse me, call that a night on streaming. I can't even count. I don't even know how many I've gotten built tonight. I lost count. It's not many. In the for 50 minutes of work. see why they couldn't do that with the droids. These bits are way too fiddly for them to have done that. putting the droid legs on, some of them do kind of spread a little bit, kind of pigeon toe out or in, make sure you get them done right.
get in there. If you're still with me, thanks for hanging out this long while I attempt not to glue my fingers together repeatedly. Appreciate you sticking it out. together so they don't fall off when I try to put them on. Also known as gluing my fingers to drawer arms. And breaking pieces off apparently. That was special. Good job, Dustin. before I touch it again. Check a couple things real quick. together and see that I have glued his shoulders too far apart. Good thing they're not way too far apart. Easy fix. Just squeeze them together a little bit. Assembled droid. Pile of assembled droids is up here. This one, I think I've got what looks to be, well, I thought it was four more droids, but apparently not. There looks like there's three droids on each of this, these sprues, so. <laughs> Six more droids after this? Good lord, man. Good night. That is a lot of droids. I may actually... Cut the stream here before I finish all six of them, 
so you can kind of see the idea of how I do them. Um, just call it a night streaming and I'll just turn on something mindless while I finish the rest of them. So we've put together a good number of droids tonight. Probably finish this one and then, like I said, be done. I'm sure there's only so much droid assembling y'all can handle. show one more time before I leave though what my Grievous is going to end up looking like, kind of. So. And then I have a lot of commissions to get on here soon. So I learned on the last bazooka droid, turn his head slightly to his left. I think it was his left. Yeah. It helps it look like he's looking through the bazooka. So just a little bit to his left. Not Nothing too drastic. the sprue that's still stuck on there. Get this back where I want it. And I should have waited a little bit longer. Didn't figure that arm would stay just yet. So, get that reattached. Let that sit for just a minute. Uh, you missed me super gluing my fingers together and me saying that I'm probably going to wrap up the stream after doing this droid. Um, and me possibly pissing off of your, but we'll see. instead of country gospel. It wasn't even country gospel. I have it on the, the Pretzel Rocks adventure theme. And so it just... Or an epic station, which is supposed to be like adventure music. I don't know. see if I feel like, once I get done with this one, if I feel like staying on stream some more. I feel like this um, rocket launcher is insane proportions compared to the droid. But hey. Alright, yeah, we'll stay streaming for a little bit. Clippy clip.
I have to check out that um, train piece you finished once I get done streaming. You also missed me saying, oh look, I've only got a couple more droids left, and then figuring out, just kidding, FFG put three per sprue on the large sprues. I was thinking I had like four left and then, nope, six. I spent, I spent about an hour and a half last night assembling Grievous and four droids and tonight I've assembled the rest of this pile. This pile right here, up in the, the um, pallet cam. just think I've only got five more to go in this box. Yay. Like I said, excuse my sniffles. Still recovering from cotton crud. How do I glue my finger to the side of a backpack that I didn't even put glue on? You're gonna put them as terrain bits? a bit of terrain. And can we just take a moment to appreciate that you grammar not seed yourself? Instead, it's just me. Plus, they're not quite as poseable as you would think they are. The shoulders are, the legs are not. Not at all. Well, that was an abrupt change in music. I did not do that.
apparently whoever performed that last song just decided, you know what? We're gonna end it now. The two, yeah, on an FDM printer, I can see that. If you had a um, an SLA printer, I mean, why don't you get right on that? The legs are not posable. The arms are. The legs are not. You could cut the tabs off. I mean, they're tabbed, so the legs only really fit on one way. These are locked, yes. You can't pose those at all. The hips are um, tabbed. The knees in the... Um, this is one complete leg. I don't know if I can get it in shot too well. And then on the back side, you can kind of see the whole... Probably not. The hole is shaped like that, and then it's one foot all the way up to the hip. Since they're not that soft plastic anymore, I don't think you can even pose them with um, with hot water. Yeah, I mean, you could just cut, not assemble them at all. That's an option for sure. this guy and then four more. So this is the unit leader. He's standing up super tall and proud and like shoot at me, you know. Was I? Like, 
throw him. Because fiddly bits. I am not positive where his gun is supposed to stick to. I got my Grievous assembled. I decided not to go for the four. So that's him, and then his cape and head is separate still. Um, so I went with two on one side. Yeah, that Geonosis train wasn't for me, though. I don't have it. It was for a customer. Which way do these binos go on? I just glued my fingers together. It'll be a general idea. It took some finagling, but the cloak fits. Everything fits. Yeah, I probably I actually was considering it. I learned some from the last set, and this set will be much smoother. stick this rifle up. It doesn't really give a good indication of where it goes. So, I may have to pull up some pictures of other people's droids. Power don't come apart. You stupid thing. I think I tilted his head down quite far enough. I was just thinking about building a new set of Genosis train today. I mean, I wasn't going to build it today, but I was thinking about it on my way to work. Welcome to How I Get Super Glue on My Fingers 101. If you have any questions about how to get super glue on your fingers, feel free to ask. It's rather simple. If you'd like to get super glue on your fingers as well, go out by yourself a Star Wars Legion Clone Wars core set and try to assemble the droids. It happens naturally.
stuck my thumb to his shoulder when I went to take my thumb off, his shoulder came off. Alright, so his binos are going to have to be down because I glued his head at the wrong angle to put him on. So that's a thing. I don't understand how this piece goes on. That's how it goes. Now to figure out how his rifle goes on. Huh. Or if there's any pictures in here or anything. Probably not. Not good ones, at least. This is what I'm looking at. To Google. Give me just a moment while I look at the reference. Photo. See if I can figure out how they go on. I could. I have to get my printer up and running. It's still down right now. that piece it was big um, I would probably try to break it up into two pieces though no it doesn't the build instructions are wonderful and they yeah we're just gonna stop I'll zoom in on these build instructions here in just a minute and give you an idea of just what you're working with when it comes to this they're awesome Just a minute, and I'll zoom in. I gotta get this stupid gun glued on to where I think it goes. I promise you, it's gonna break off of here. Get that spur bit cleaned up a little bit better. I think Ikea 
instructions are more helpful than those build instructions. And that's saying quite a bit. So, all right. This, if I can get it without the glare, this one is the one I'm trying to build. That is the entirety of the build instructions. Yeah. Enjoy that. That droid only took 20 minutes. Yes, A9 was the gun. So it's just floating out in the middle of nowhere on the build instructions. sprue after we finish this guy. So three droids after this and then we'll be done with this box of Clone Wars. Droids, I should say. I haven't touched the, the clones yet. I'm not as excited. Yeah, I know it goes on the shoulder, but it doesn't, there's no way to attach it on the side that they show it going on. Um, or what you would assume it says goes on that side. There's nothing to attach it to. So it has to go on the other side, because there's other droids that have loose guns that go on the other side. But they have a backpack to attach it to. I'll show you in a second. Let me get this head glued together. So they have a backpack that the little side tab goes into. All fine and great. That guy doesn't have a backpack. He has a little antenna that don't actually fit right. So let me see if I can find one. dig through my pile of droids here. This guy. So you see on this side, if I can get it in focus, the gun goes on this side on this one, and it notches into the backpack there. So, come in focus, camera. You were doing great a second ago. Right there. Goes on that side. Well, where did Binocular Bob go? Binocular Bob, as he's going to be called, if I can get it in focus again, doesn't have a backpack on. I know it's fuzzy, but he doesn't actually have a backpack. So there's nowhere to slot it onto. I'm sure there's something I'm missing. Like, there's probably an easy way to do it, and I'm just derping it up, but I didn't see it. If you're watching this video after the fact and you know how to do it, leave it in the comments for me for the next time. Blue dries real quick. All right. This 
guy's kneeling. Kind of, it clipped onto their backpacks, and they all have backpacks. So they would, like, reach their arm up over their shoulder and draw the weapon out. But now that I think about it, I don't remember seeing, like, a squad leader doing it. So, I don't know how they did it. But hey, we got it figured out close enough. It's attached to a shoulder on the same side as the other one. But you're right, yeah, it did clip on their back. Or a magnet clip or somehow. I'm not quite sure. If I haven't said it enough, be super careful when handling these arms with blasters. They are very brittle. Um, and break easily. I've almost broken a couple. Managed to save them, but they they do break easy. after this. Yay. Although I think now that I know how it goes together, it shouldn't be as big of a problem. Part of it's just figuring it out with FFT's wonderfully detailed instructions they give you. design their instruction manual, their assembly guide. Sorry about the tapping every now and again. I gotta do it to get the super glue down into the bottle. Sarath, have you started putting paint on your Grievous yet?
So the somewhat poseable parts on these guys are their heads and their arms. And that's about it. The legs, if you decide you want to try to get really fancy with some modding, you can probably pose them. But they're not initially designed to be posed. I assume you left your head and cloak detached as well. I saw the, the picture you posted of him, like, partially assembled, and it looked like you had attached the cloak, but I wasn't sure. I'm just waiting for this gun to dry enough for me to put it onto his arms. I have no idea what possessed me to want to play a drone army. And I'm having second thoughts now. You had to attach it. I thought you said you had figured out a way to put all four on with just leaving that scapula piece off. Did that not work? Gotcha, sorry. Yeah, the delay. I tried streaming without the delay, and I just... Whew, it was choppy. They're working on running fiber into my network, so maybe once... Or into my neighborhood, so maybe once that becomes a thing... stream that, but my, my network just couldn't keep up. Wait. 
waiting for glue to dry. down at a little bit more of an angle than the other one so that I can get his binos upright. Second to last drawing for this box. the only box of them I'm building tonight. I have a box for a customer. Legs. They're so tiny compared to some of the other droids. Or some of the other um, models. crazy for wanting to watch paint dry. Here you are watching glue dry. I'm not even doing anything fancy. Just gluing stuff together. Yay, we got that one up on his face. Ta-da. Destroyed Binos. Where does gun go? Did I not clip it? That's not half. Glued 
The hardest part of this little antenna thing is making sure it's straight. I just saw the work in progress shot of your um, previous Seth. He's, his face is looking great. last one and then we'll call it a night for streaming see I wasn't thinking Grievous was going to take all that long because he's mostly tan and black right but I guess you could put as much time or as little time as you want into all that highlighting and shading on his body. The cloak's going to make for some unique abilities to shade and highlight, for sure. I think you and I paint to different qualities as well. I must be a little bit higher than tabletop painter. Your stuff is great. Now in my personal stuff, I tend to spend just a few extra minutes on there. Well, a little bit longer. Like the Shore Troopers, even though they didn't take me a super long time, I put a little extra effort in there that I may not have. I really wish I could have, I would have done the stream for the basing, but I didn't. Um, because I wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing with the water effects first. But the water effects are nothing fancy, they're just... Loctite epoxy with some blue. Oh yeah, I definitely paint heroes to a little bit higher quality than than grunts. Line troopers get much less attention. Some of the line work on the Shore Troopers wasn't as clean as I wanted it to be. Um, but, yeah, I was, I was pretty happy with them. Destroyed. I feel like I've built like six units of models because there's so many droids in each squad. I was really happy with how the water effect turned out on those shore troopers. It 
it's supposed to look like greenish, bluish swamp water. And I think this one, the edge got a little bit messed up, but it's, I call it a waterfall. But I think it turned out well. I just have them magnetized to my workbench right now. So, hard epoxy works well. And when I super glued them in, it created these little white frost rings, but it actually kind of looks like ripples in the water. likes Rastro stuff. I have stopped checking it for guides anymore. I've kind of figured out my my own methods that are somewhat based on a lot of the stuff he's done, but I've figured out other shortcuts. Don't break gun. Please don't break. So yeah, the epoxy water with the glue on it, it created a little frost ripple around, but it kind of it, made it look like they were stepping in the water and made a water ring. So it worked. And it's, it's near indestructible and it helps hold the guy on the base. So triple benefit there. Almost done, we're finishing up this last droid and then we'll call it a night. So, just was waiting on an arm to dry. He's gonna put his arm on, or arms, plural, and then we'll be done for tonight. Destroyed of tonight. Come to focus camera. All right. So let's see. Kind of get them sorted out here on cam. Let's see if y'all can see everything that we've done. The different types. Gigantic rocket launcher dude. Oh, that one's gonna need a reglue. I broke the arm off. Something that's gonna be easy to do with these guys. They're they're gonna be super fragile. Super fragile. I stick XP. I'll stop. Each line is one squad of droids. Hope you enjoy assembling miniatures, because you're going to be doing it a bit. Get this arm put back on this guy. Preferably without gluing myself to him. line is one squad. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine 
miniatures per squad. If I had to combine between putting Grievous and these droids together, I probably spent about the two hours on this stream, an hour and a half last night, so three and a half hours assembling all this. Yeah. So. Alright. That's going to wrap up the stream for tonight. I appreciate you hanging around, seeing me work on these droids. Um, I'm going to work on Grievous probably soon, so that'll probably be my next stream. And um, we'll go from there, so. Thanks for hanging out. Hang around if you want to see my outro. Show your appreciation by hitting the like button. You can subscribe by hitting the logo in the center of the screen to see all the new stuff as it comes out. Find me on social media at XXNerfert or XX for Twitter. Facebook, Jagged Brush Studios. To see the next video, hit the video on the left. To see the newest upload, hit the video on the right. And I hope you enjoyed. Get out there and paint some more.